What's up guys? So we are here on the public test server and we are going to take a look at the crafting recipes because they have dramatically changed. You may have heard that you can craft all the way up to Aranor weapons and armor without any RNG involved. And yes, that is slightly true. You can craft all the way up to Aranor. The material cost has increased. There is no different like names anymore because you can reseal them. So you still can get Ionon Sky Katana, you still can get Ionon Lightning, Ionon Mist, Ionon Meter, etc. You can get all these, but you can now just reseal it and open it up and pick whatever one you want. So when you craft, you get to choose which version of the weapon that you get, and then when you are done with it, ready to upgrade, you can then reseal it and then craft it up to the next tier. The resealing item is actually very simple and easy to get. It's in the machine. So it's in the machine under Reforge. You'll notice that all the Reforges are gone now. There's no longer Wisp in the game. The Wisps are going to convert to currently 15 Archeum Crystals for every Wisp. This is the transmuter, which turns your item back into a sealed item. So it takes 20 Earth Mana Leafs, which is very cheap. They should see a slight increase in value, at least in the beginning of the server. And then also four sturdy ingots. Again, quite cheap. Crafting recipe for these guys has not changed. And these are going to be greatly in demand in the first couple days. Because all of those old Delphinads, weapons and armors on the old servers. So we'll take a look here at the, at the auction house. All these Delphinod weapons slash armors can now be converted up to Ionod. And the same thing can be said for like Illustrious and Magnificent. So all the Illustrious weapons and armors, even if they're not the correct, correct name, can be sealed in 3.5 and then upgraded into the next tier. So you're going to see a lot of people using these old weapons and armors that used to be stuck and just kind of like wisp fodder or just throwing in your inventory transmuting them and upgrading them even further or they could also use them to feed the air in our weapons and armors you notice there's not too much on the auction house here for armor there is a, a decent of one page selection here we are on the fresh start servers on the auction house but let's go back to the crafting recipes and show you what is changing here so look at the axes. So to craft an Ionod axe, the new one is on the right. The old one here is on the left. They got rid of Gilded Dust for one, so you'll notice that. But then the materials to craft it are dramatically increased. So it used to take 13 Sunlight Archeum Essence. Now it's taking 78 Sunlight Archeum Essence. A big change. But again, there is no 1 in 7 chance of getting the one that you want. You can always upgrade any of these guys. You do have to actually regrade these things though. You'll notice that you require a celestial sealed Delphinad to get it upgraded to Ionod. So there's a slight RNG factor there in order to create a sealed Delphinad axe. You need a sealed Ethereum that is a unique grade or higher. So you do do a little bit of regrading, a little bit of RNG, but it is definitely a lot better it is actually cheaper when you think about it. Before you had seven chances, and if you didn't get the upgradable one, it was pretty much crap. Now, the material costs have increased by five times on the Archeum, but you always get the one that you want. So, overall, good change there. For the Sun Ridge Ingots, it is now at the 26 versus 7 from the old server. So, about a 3.5 times increase there. For the Archeum Ingot, it's at 84 versus 21. So a four times increase there. And then nothing has changed with the weapon scroll. The cost stays the same at 260 gold. It does require a little bit more labor now. So 1,250 versus 1,000. And the same thing has happened in armors as well. The armor recipes have changed similar. So we'll go into Taylor and we'll take a look at just a hood so you still need the basic delphinad hood and again as you'll notice that it's it's now a sealed delphinad celestial 
So if you're going to upgrade, you have to use one of those transmitters. You have to craft that transmitter to upgrade anything, even if you have the correct type in 3.0. So even if you had a Delphinite Ocean Hood right now, you're going to have to transmute it to upgrade it and then also make it uh, celestial. So if you have the upgradable versions right now in 3.0, you definitely want to upgrade them before the patch. Make sure that you upgrade them before the patch if you have those guys. For Archeum, it needed 9, and now it's going up to 54. For the Fabric, it needed 6, going up to 24. For the Scented Petal Pigments, this is a big one, a 6 times increase here. And these things become even harder to get. We touched about this before, but I'll show you here in the new version, in the patch. In order to craft these guys, you now require the lower pigment. So all the old materials are the same here. These chestnuts are actually easier to get. You can get them from the vocation bag merchant now. Before you had to get them out in wild spawns. But now you have to have a soft stem pigment as well. In order to create that, you still need the tier 2 pigment below that one as well. The same old materials here. And then you also need the tier 1 pigment to make that. So look at that guys. A dramatic increase in cost on these and you're going to be required to do six times the amount on the armors that's crazy these things are going to be really really expensive in 3.5 dragon essence stabilizers is also used in a lot more things charcoal prices should also see a significant increase we're seeing and we're going to go over the the trade park values for charcoal it's really bad guys it's really really bad in this new patch you're not really going to be getting charcoal stabilizers easily and the npc cell value is like 95 silver we're hearing so they're going to be worth at least two gold at least two gold for a charcoal stabilizer just to make those trade packs worthwhile to run most likely charcoal stabilizers will hit three gold again we'll be touching on that in another video so if you're looking for why and trade pack changes, keep it locked here. That trade pack video will be coming up later today. But yes, this is the crafting changes. If you got any questions on crafting changes, post them down below. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Arcage content. And I will see you guys later. Good luck.